Hi, my name is Mark with Michigan Biochar. We're on part three of our biochar experiment with tomato plants. Um, we're already at step three. We're probably just going to run this to step five or six and that should be it. So hopefully this whole thing will culminate at the end where we'll show you where the plants that um, have been planted in a compost soil biochar combination um, will prove itself to be superior to plants that otherwise are not. So I just want to do a real quick recap here. These four plants, uh, rows of plants over here, there should be four but there isn't, we'll get to that in a moment. Um, if you recall from the previous videos, were not planted with biochar and these four were planted with a 50-50 mix of biochar. Um, as you can see, this one's with, uh, with um, miracle Grow potting soil, this one with Scott's. This row right here um, was supposed to be, or was at one time, miracle Grow Organic. This is miracle Grow's way of saying, look, we're going to do it the or organic way if you want to. Um, none of those plants even came up, and coincidentally, not only did those not come up, but the ones we planted in this row over here where the biochar did not come up. So um, we want to give the miracle Grow organic product an absolute thumbs down. Um, last of all, we did have an infestation of bugs in that uh, compost, or not, I'm sorry, in that potting soil. And uh, we've seen that before with that product. We don't know what it is, but um, hopefully that's just one bad batch. And um, so anyways, Miracle Grow Organic is out of this entire portion here. So what I want to do is just give you a quick synopsis here. The Miracle Grow uh, potting soil, these plants came out uh, very, very strong and we expected that because it's very rich in nitrogen. So it really took off very quickly. When compared to Scott, um, Scott's obviously, um, they don't have nearly as much nitrogen and some other elements, so it's not growing nearly as quickly as the uh, miracle Grow. That doesn't mean anything right at this point. Um, it's probably growing healthier this way than this way anyway, so we'll see as time goes by. But this row right here, this is the Baker's Green Acres compost, just a farmer down the road. His compost, when we put it up against the miracle Grow or the Scott's, it's growing exceptionally well. So um, hats off to the local farmer and too bad on the commercial side. Over here on this side, <clears throat> now we're repeating the same thing. We've got the miracle Grow with compost here and um, I'm sorry, with biochar. And these plants, though they're not growing as quickly as these other ones, um, these are very healthy plants. They're looking really good. Scott's with biochar, um, it's a darker green. If you compare that with any of the rest of these plants, you can see the foliage on it is much darker. I don't know what's going on with Scott's, but we see it with this row as well. So I don't know what that means at this point, but um, it certainly doesn't look like it's uh, growing in either category as vigorous as the rest of it. And then last of all, over here, we have the Baker's Green Acres compost with biochar and you can see all organic against the Scott's all organic, the um, Miracle Grow, grow um, is, is growing much more vigorously. So like I said, hats off to the local farmer with his compost and um, it's looking right now that um, overall we've got pretty good growth rate on both sides and we'll see in the upcoming weeks and months as these plants get much larger we'll see how the yield uh, comes out with the um, soils with the biochar versus the ones that don't so we'll be uh, talking soon